Good morning, YouTube, Facebook, and whoever else sees this. <laughs> but good morning, this is Chandler, um, heading to Classic Care Services. Um, as you guys know, I, I'm a fine fabric specialist, so I'm getting, going to the office to get prepared to head out to one of my clients' home to clean her fine fabrics on her upholstered furniture um, as well as the, some rugs but I wanted to share a few thoughts this morning um, this is not to be taken as a specific class this is simply as I come um, as I approach most of my videos uh, that I've been doing lately is just kind of uh, philosophical thought um, a series of thoughts that we put together and sharing some things that I live by um, just sharing anybody that may can benefit from it uh, from some of the experiences that I've had and also some of the things that I've been taught some of the things that I believe in some of the things that I've shaken off so just sharing with my local cleaners and anybody else that can benefit from this but anyways <clears throat> I got about 10 minutes Maybe a little longer I'd be at my office, but I would just, as I scan the pages of the the carpet cleaning nerd pages, as they call them, um, you hear people, uh, people go live, people put on videos, and people put up posts, and, you know, those things are good. You know, carpet cleaners are obsessed with pricing, right? So everybody is trying to make as much money as possible, then some say, well, I just love what I do. I try to give it a fair price and some so I'm trying to get as much as I can and some I can't get much money so I charge low you know it's the, the debate that goes on and on and on but if anybody has listened to or watching my videos you'll know that Chandler those things are important and I will talk about those things too but those things are not the foundation they're, they're not my foundation um, my foundation typically is going to come from how do I improve myself? Because if I improve myself, then my environment is going to improve. Whether, no matter what environment I'm in, you know why? It's because how I see it and how I respond to it. So, one of the things that I live by and that, that I'm constantly, it's constantly a challenge as it, as it should be, it's constantly. Um, something that you are looking yourself in the mirror but it's a battle but you improving every day but until you go on to glory this is something that should be worked on um, continually but one thing that I that's in me probably would never leave me and was established in was taught was ground in and uh, they re-emphasized through service re-emphasized through uh, messages uh, re-emphasized through thoughts is that to go to the next level and to achieve what you're trying to achieve hey, let's just throw out achievement and success because that's all relative but to be the person who you are to be the greatest person that you can be that's what we're trying to do right and if you don't understand that that's the highest level um, it's self in, in psychology is self-actualization is the highest level that you can go to as a human being okay so you can do some research on that but I'm not this is not a technical video so we're not gonna get into that but just sharing thoughts so to, to be the best and to be the person who you are because you are unique in all your ways there's nobody else has been made like you but to be unique in all your ways you have to lose oneself so you have to lose ego. You have to lose one's self. Some people self or some people's ego is they consider it to be their strength. And yes, it's it's natural to have an ego. Yes, it's natural to be mm, to promote self in some way. 
but it's not the highest level of living. The highest level of living is giving up of oneself. It's losing your ego. It's losing your self-promotion. Okay, so I was taught and I believe and I walk in this foundation that self-promotion is a reward in itself, right? So you self-promote yourself and everything you do. This is not just trying to be famous. This is in your marriage. This is as a father or as a mother. This is as a friend. Typically, self-promotion will come out that, you know, you're going to defend yourself all the way down to the end. And that's a natural human trait, right? But we don't come into this world, we don't come into this world in a state of self actualization We don't come into this world at the highest state of living. We come into this world infantile with an internal spirit in starting our journey to learn to move towards the greater self and not the same self that you were when you came into this world. Does that make sense? So we come into this world on a journey to become one's best self. So in order for me to, to be my best self, I have to lose myself. I have to lose ego. See, a lot of guys and gals thinks that, think that, well, I'm going to defend myself or I'm going to attack this person. Oh, I'm going to show this person up. That's strength. When actuality, in an upside down kingdom, that's weakness. And the person that is able to control their emotions, maintain themselves, do things on purpose, understand who they are, they're the ones that are really strong. It's hard pressed to find anybody that has influenced history or has influenced society that was self-promoting. I'm talking about influenced society where you're going to remember them a hundred years from now, a thousand years from now. Those that have influenced society or communities and people and that we will never forget them have those that have lost self, those that didn't care about their life anymore, those that only... Um, um, helped others those that realized that their ego they had to lose it in order for them to become their best self so how does that equate to in my daily life well one thing you can do is give back you know sometimes that we feel like that we've got to hold on to everything we got that's another principle. If you're going to be financially prosperous, you have to be able to release your finances. You have to be able to release your abilities and your talents. You can't try to hold on and keep a secret of your abilities and your talents and your knowledge because you won't prosper. The um, the natural, you know, the universe will work against you. But when you give and you release is when prosperity shows up. And a lot of that is because you see life as abundance, right? So that's when that, that principle, how you can apply that principle there by losing oneself, by losing one's ego, that's how you become your best self, you know? I, the Bible says that if we're talking about God, if you lift me up, and that simply means that if you show people the goodness of who I am, which is the goodness of who you are and what comes out of your heart, then you will be lifted up. You will be promoted. You will be important to those people. Why? Because you have sown something into their life that's eternal. It's not something that is that is uh, temporary, but it is eternal. It will last forever. If you fall down and break your leg, 
and I came by and, put, and picked you up and carried you to the hospital, that action is eternal. You will always remember that because I couldn't take myself to the hospital while Chandler came by and he took me to the hospital. What would I have done if he wasn't there? You will always remember that. Those are selfless acts. You know, people talk about social media and I look at it and I analyze and I watch us on, the, on these carpet cleaning pages and a lot of it is very, very narcissistic in many, many ways. You know, it's self-promoting, um, self-defending, self-attacking, all to promote one's self. It's self, 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 all about me, all about me. But that action stifles our growth. That action stifles our, um, our spiritual jewels that we have in us to make us the best that we can be. So in order for you to, to visualize who you are eternally, which will manifest itself in the natural realm, in order to manifest what you want to happen in the natural, you have to manifest it in the spiritual. And how do you do that? Well, we all do that in different ways. You know, people. some people say prayer which I would say prayer is very important because it's lining your spirit, your spirit up with the eternal, your thought process, your words. You know, if you look at yourself in the mirror or you look at your environment and that does not represent you, then you got some work to do. You got a lot of work to do on the inside of you. And the one way to start that is to lose self. You know, when you lose self, you'll be better all the way around. You'll be a better father. You'll be a better son. You'll be a better friend. You'll be a better husband. How often our wives or our husbands will get on our nerves, or you'll be a better wife, or get on our nerves, or we get in an argument because we are defending ourselves in some way or fashion. Uh, of, uh, some way or fashion, we're defending ourselves. Whether you do it um, passive aggressively or you do it out in the open or you speak your mind or you do an action that you don't care who sees it or what she thinks or what he thinks or you do it passive aggressively it's still defending self and promoting self when you let self go the universe will begin to work for you in a way that you cannot imagine there is a place in life where you can think something and it happens where you can think on it and it happens. Where you can ponder on it and it happens. So as a man thinketh, therefore he is. So if you're functioning in, in this world and in this system and in your business and in your family and you look around and your environment does not represent you or your actions don't represent who you truly are on the inside, then you may have an ego problem. You may have a self problem. And as I make this video, I'm speaking to myself as well as any other person out there who may benefit from this. So one way to self actualization one way to achieve your best self is to lose oneself, is to lose your ego. As they would say, no I in team. Lose oneself. And you'll be able to be the best person that you can possibly be. At least be on that path. As well as you affect others eternally and not superficially. So losing oneself it's very, very important to me. Losing one's ego is very, very important to me. Now, some people will shine a negative light on, I'm going to give you an example of Christianity. Because Christianity says, 
Well, if you're struck in the cheek, turn the other cheek. If you're offended on one side, give them the other side to offend you. That thought process, that that way of living is simply emphasizing losing oneself. It doesn't mean that you don't defend yourself. It doesn't mean that you don't stand up for yourself. It means that you don't do it out of ego. You don't do it out of oneself, out of self-promotion. Because self-promotion is a pathway to hell. And what that means, simply, you're not on the pathway to eternity, or to eternal to eternal actions and eternal fruit and things that's going to help others in a way that should never pass away. Because if you operate out of selflessness and lack of ego, that's when you begin to have visions and understandings and ideas and, and, and you'll be able to forgive, you'll be free, you'll be powerful in your thoughts, powerful in your words and powerful in your environment. That's when you will walk in a, in a realm of heavenly realm within yourself. And then people's words or actions can't control you. So I just wanted to share that. That's something that was on my heart this morning that I want to continue to lose self. I want to continue to lose my ego. I want to and when I do that, that's when I've, I'm in my best state. And I think about any time I've accomplished anything or I've had something that really good, moments that was awesome, it, it was in those moments that I lost oneself. Where my ego was in the forefront, it was in the back seat. So guys, thanks for listening today. Um, again, this is... This is not a classroom structure. This is not, um, I'm giving you technical terms. I can do that if need be. But I'm just sharing this video. Just I want it to be real, honest. It's a thought process sometimes I think about on my way to work. And this is just one of the things. This is many things that help your life to move forward for it to get better. But this is one of the foundational things I truly believe uh, will help us to move forward. Guys, thanks for um, watching, and um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have an awesome and wonderful day.